Entry prohibited to non-Hindus posters erected at the Ganges River. In India, in early January, discriminatory posters were found along the Ganges River in Varanasi, India, in, in, that read in large text, quote, entry prohibited to non-Hindus. The body of the poster said that the stairways that go directly into the river and the temples along the Ganges are symbols of, uh, it's, I don't know why I have a hard time saying this, Sanatan Dharma, or which is also just known as Hinduism, and that only those who have faith and belief in Sanatan Dharma are welcome. It was concluded, it, the posters concluded in large text, quote, this is not a request, but a warning. Varanasi police identified Ranjun Gupta and Nikhil uh, Tripathi, members of the hardline right-wing Hindu groups, uh, Vishwa Hindu Parishad and Bajrang Dal, respectively, as the perpetrators. Pirathi stated, stated to reporters, quote, non-Hindus violate the purity of the ghats, which are the, the stairways that go into the river. That is why this warning has been issued to them. They were detained for, quote, unquote, breaching the peace, and police have launched an investigation. The posters were removed by the police with the help of volunteers. Okay, so the police did the right thing here, right? They just like yes. you can't just you can't just show up and be like, we own this place. Like it's a, it's a river. <laughs> like it's a part of like, oh my god. Just like how, how do people like it, only religion gives you this amount of audacity? I mean, not only I shouldn't be so that's not true. But fact, For me, as an American, when I saw this, I'm like, oh, they're just going like full like segregation, like full Jim Crow. Except it's okay, like that's obviously why, not correct. state sanctioned. It's just yeah. they're trying to enforce it. But it is but segregatory. Yeah, but just imagine thinking that you have the right to just show up and declare this public place. Like you're not these people are not part of the government, right? They're like you just <laughs> you're just people <laughs> and you're just showing up and like, yeah, you can Muslims can't show up here. <laughs> like, who are excuse me, who are you? <laughs> Like, uh, who elected you? Like, how, with what authority are you coming here and just, like, enforcing this? Like, <laughs> but it's good, like, that it was, like, stopped. Like, did they imagine? Okay, so, yeah. So this is, guys, this is why there's hope for India still. <laughs> Even after everything, there's some hope for India. You can't just, like, you know, the police are like, yeah, I mean, we have, like, we're so, we're still we're still somewhat secular. We can't just be like, Mus like Muslims, you know, people can't show up here because of their religion. It's unbelievable. How do they, how do they assume that they can get away with this? Um, <laughs> just the gall, the audacity. And well, and probably because in many ways, I mean, it depends on where you are in the country, but these right. gangs are very emboldened in many yeah, which ways. Which state the, is this? Um, I can't remember off the top of my head what state uh, Varanasi is in. Give me a second. If it, like, do you think like this would be like they would get support from the police if it was in Uttar Pradesh instead of this one? Um. Well, this actually is in. Oh Uttar my Pradesh. gosh! Oh wow! It is in Uttar Pradesh. Okay. Well, that's okay. This is in Uttar Pradesh. Okay, so that's good. Even in Uttar Pradesh, which is the worst possible state when it comes to secularism in India. You could still expect the police to be like, that's too far. <laughs> like, we can't just declare this place, you know, a, a no Muslim area or, or a no, uh, only an only Hindu area, right? So that's pretty good. No, like, okay, yeah. people are saying, of course, it's Uttar Pradesh. Okay, people expect this to be Uttar Pradesh because of the activity of these people, okay? I'm seeing... Look at this. I'm actually seeing this as a glass half full rather than a glass half empty because I'm like, I'm happy that the pol we could at least re rely on the p police uh, to to still, you know, have, you know, do the right thing. Right. Yeah. Well, it's really interesting because this actually this sort of this sort of like attempt actually violates the Indian Constitution. Because, okay, so this is a quote from The Logical Indian, which I tend to like a lot of the writing on this site. A quote, apart from this, Article 15 of the Indian Constitution states, no citizen shall, on the grounds only of race, religion, caste, place of birth, sex, or any of them, be subject to any liability, restriction, condition, or disability with regard to, quote, 
A, access to shops, public restaurants, places, uh, and hotels of public entertainment, or B, the use of tanks, wells, roads, bathing gats, which is exactly what this is, and the places a public resort maintained wholly or, or, or partly out of state funds dedicated to the, the use of the general public. Wait a second. Are, are the temples used, do, are state funds used to maintain the temples at all? Because based on if that's if that's in the constitution, shouldn't the Muslims be able to just walk into Hindu temples? Um, that's a good question, actually. Of course, all my questions are good questions. <laughs> I remember <laughs> seeing. Um, I, I I can't give you a clear answer because I remember seeing this kind of like meme that's a chart usually put forward by. Um, more Hindu hardliners that shows the different restrictions on churches and mosques versus temples and how there's a lot of hypocrisy in the state's secularism in terms of how these different faith institutions are treated. So I think that they're, and one of the things had to do with public funding. I just can't actually remember the specifics right now. Um, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's 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 highlight some of these. Katie um, Katie here. is saying that the blue text in the picture of the thumbnail, so on the site that means here, translates to Muslims are prohibited here. Wow. Wow. Directly. Okay, so it's this. They're like being more specific. Like non-Hindus are are not allowed here, and we 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 mean Muslims. <laughs> We're specifically mean. Like they're not even hiding it. Like okay, specifically talking about. Muslim, unbelievable. It's interesting. Mm. One of the um, reasons why this happened, or according to the Bajrang doll, like people, is that there were videos circ circulating online of people like ha eating food or maybe even drinking beer, like on the stairways that go into the river. And so they were super offended by this and saying that they're like defiling the holiness of the river and that yeah non-hindus make it dirty and that this isn't a picnic spot and if you're going to treat this as a picnic picnic spot like we will remove you the, again this is this is a okay. warning let's speak youtube by the way if you want to strike us for saying these things we're just telling what other people are saying we're against that we're we're not these are not our views okay by the way the, the, the river is dirty but for other reasons it's amazing how that's what's holiest... kind of ironic. Yeah. I, yeah. Like if I if I if was ever allowed in India, which I don't think I am anymore. <laughs> I mean, I am, but like I would probably not regret going there. But but like I would not I would like if I go visit the river, I would probably never step in it. Like I would like it's it's ridden with disease and pollutions. Like it's like it's amazing how you when you when you the river is supposed to be sacred but because it's sacred it actually is now extremely polluted and dirty right like rivers that are not sacred <laughs> are treated a lot better <laughs> than rivers that have become holy and sacred you know they're animals. well it yeah. the ganges that's a complicated issue it's not purely because a lot of mm -hmm. people put like remains into the water um water that it's polluted like that's part of it. But at this point, a lot of it comes from industrial waste and mismanagement mm -hmm. or the industry like patently not complying with the okay. government mandates about what they're supposed to do good, with the water. Good supply. point. Okay, good point. A lot of the pollution is not because of religion, but given the pollution, a lot of people going into the river and exposing their body to that pollution is because of religion. Right? Yeah. If it was okay, there we go um so what uh what, the second comment from katie <laughs> sorry i just saw a funny comment um katie was also saying a few days ago in uh varanasi a muslim guy with um bipolar disorder was beaten up and forced to lick his own spit from the streets and the video was circulated online yes i did see that um it was and he was forced to um shout jai shri ram as well um a lot mm. of people were sending me that um, Katie is saying, do not step in the river. I see people happily throwing the sacred water from that river to each other and wonder, do they not see that pollution right in front of their eyes? Yeah. yeah. And, it's not yeah. as um, bad as um, 
I mean, it is bad. But I remember a few weeks ago, we reported that um, one of the tributaries, the uh, Yamuna, um, remember how we were talked about how it was like frothing? It looked like it was like part of a glacier or the Arctic because of how much froth and foam was created from like the um, industrial mm -hmm. waste. Yeah, yeah. I saw there were still people like oh. jumping around in there. I was like, what? Well, that can't yeah. be good for also, you. Also, also, a lot of people don't um, do the cremations properly. Apparently, like I don't know how big of a deal that is, but because of like not having enough wood, the cremation are the cremations are not done to the full, and they end up instead of throwing ashes into the river, they start ended up ending up throwing body parts into the river. So there's that. I don't know how big of a deal that is, but I remember reading something about that story. Anyways, well, there was also yeah. the issue of, well, how can I talk about this? Oh, yeah. When YouTube was sensitive. Um, exactly. Music Guy is highlighting this as well. Yes, that happened. And during the height of the, well, one of the really big peaks of the disease that was going around, there was this huge expose on how the government was trying to cover up the fact that there was just dozens and dozens and dozens of bodies that were being put just like straight into the river. And the government yeah. was trying to hush it up. Imagine going into the river for religious reasons and someone's like body part shows up and rubs against you. It's like, oh my God. Because ah! <laughs> when you're swimming in a river, like I've had this experience before and you unexpectedly feel like a little sea reed, like, yeah. like rub on your leg. You're like, what was that? <laughs> yeah. But imagine it's like some human bones rubbing against you. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.